You're not going to believe this, but I actually made this dining room table. If you know me, you know that I'm the least handy person I know, so this was quite the feat. I started out falling in love with things I saw on Pinterest, and before I knew it, I bought this beautiful slab of monkey pod and created this form to be able to put the slab in there and actually pour. It was kind of tricky to know how to be able to set this around, and Sarah Lynn did a great job at helping me know what would look best as we put this in here. First, we coated the sides to make sure that we had it nice and strong and ready to pour. Putting together a table like this is not easy, so I was lucky to have the help of our good friend JC and Sarah Lynn, of course. We braced the wood and put it down real nice and hard so that we could make sure that we optimized the amount of resin we had. Pouring is absolutely my favorite part. We poured over 15 gallons of resin and you can see air bubbles, but we worked to get those out so that we could have a nice, beautiful end. You'll also see that there's kind of a bead of caulk around that, and that's intended to be able to help create a dam to prevent it from overflowing so that we could maximize the resin that we had. We have bought an insane amount of tools, but nothing compares to what we would need to be able to pull this off. Ty and Ashley Galbraith are incredible. At Inner West Cabinet, these guys were willing to help me out, and I really was way over my head here. But they used incredible equipment, the CNC machine that's probably worth about as much as my house is, as well as just making sure that we made it nice and level. You can see the machine just going to work here. And I was blown away. I wouldn't mind working and doing cabinets when I grow up. You can see the table here that it's nice and flat at this point and at that point it needed a lot of sanding that we didn't have videos of but no project would be complete without having the help of my princess cordy she did a killer job helping me buff the final stages and just look at how it turned out this first table is for a customer in arizona amy who's a longtime friend and i am thrilled for her to get it if you would like to follow my adventures with the crazy things that I'm making or are interested in having something custom made, please go to Instagram and follow me at Rough Around the Reg. And I look forward to showing you more in the future.